What's up guys, welcome back to Among the Fence. I am your host, Aaron. If this is your first time watching any of my videos, go ahead and sit down on the couch or pull up a chair, get yourself comfortable, because we're gonna talk about some music. Today we're gonna be talking about the album Colors in the Sun by the band Voyager. Voyager started about 1999. They are from Australia. They are a prog metal band that has some kind of like 1980s synth kind of vibes to them, like kind of techno -y Tron kind of style, and this is their seventh studio album. I'm a little familiar with Voyager. I've dabbled a little bit in their music here and there, and one thing I gotta say about this album and this band in general is they're full of nostalgia, especially for those of us that lived through like the 80s. I lived mostly through the 90s, not really so much the 80s, but it brings a lot of the nostalgia when it comes to music, especially like how I mentioned Tron, or if you're a fan of Stranger Things, it takes like a lot of different sounds you might hear from them, especially, like I said, like the synth sounds you'll hear and just the kind of vibe that they put out. They have these kind of like electronic intros and instrumentals and even <laughs> guitar solos, which I never thought I would say about a prog metal band, but they mix all these elements into prog metal very, very well, honestly better than I would have expected. Not only does this album have tons of nostalgia feel to it, but it's a lot of fun as well so with all these different elements mixed in. You get kind of a little bit more heavy metal style riffs going on, but then you have these super fun electronic and like I said, guitar solos playing around in the background and the lyrics are really poetic and they paint amazing imagery over the music that's being played. And the drums on these tracks have some kind of wow moments in there and nothing phenomenal, but you know, some things that kind of stick out. And one thing about this album is, is I think because it does have a little bit more of electronic feel, the bass does stand out a little bit more, which adds a little bit more groove and makes it more fun. It's kind of nice to be able to hear a, a bass guitar throughout a metal album. A lot of times it just gets drowned out by like way, way distorted guitars and the vocals, but it's very prominent on this album. And the bass stands out, especially on songs like Entropy, which all these songs are pretty good. There's not really a song that I disliked all that much, but Entropy is probably my favorite song on the album. It's the one that I had to go back to and listen to at least one or two more times. Entropy even has an amazing vocal performance by Einar Solberg, which is the singer, I'm probably saying that wrong. He's the singer from Leprous, which is a band from Norway. And I've heard of the band before. I've never really listened to them before but I was intrigued to hear what he sounded like because in different interviews, the other vocalist from Voyager was saying how when they're on tour, Einer had the most amazing voice and it's very, very unique and it stands out a whole lot, especially on this song. And at first it was kind of, it's kind of awkward because he has this very high soaring voice. It's, it's, it's huge. He's got a huge voice and it's very high. It's not like high pitch. It's just, I don't know, it's weird to hear his vocal tone and it, just give the song a listen. You'll see exactly what I mean. It's really weird, but it like about halfway through the song, you'll start to get it. And then when you listen to it again, you're like, hell yeah, this is great. And the bridge in Entropy also has kind of like a bass solo thing in the bridge, which I'm also not used to hearing, which was really cool. And of course, in this song, the drum stuck out hugely throughout the entire song. Honestly, for being like a metal band, the guitar work in this album wasn't, like, it, it didn't really stand out all that much, which isn't a bad thing, but it's kind of another interesting take that a guitar solo takes over instead of a guitar solo. Another song that stuck out to me was Sever Romance, which is a very pretty song, and it has a really interesting play on words, especially in the chorus. The song has a really cool, rocky pre-chorus to it, and then once the second chorus comes in, the lyrics have changed just a little bit. And like I said, there's a lot of really cool like play on words in the choruses. But one thing that's even, like even though there's cool play on words and lyrics are well written, there just isn't a whole lot to the song lyrically. But the beautiful music that plays throughout the song is kind of what makes or breaks this song. It's really, just very pretty and very relaxing in a way. I, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain because it's got this metal feel to it and it's very progressive rocky. But again, because it has the older sound to it from the 80s, like I said, it has like this Stranger Thing kind of synth vibe to it. It just adds a little bit more 
like melodicalness to it and beauty and more bass and it just changes the whole song completely. The only other song that really stuck out to me a lot was Water Over the Bridge and the only reason why is because the intro has this really sick ass riff and then it comes in in the outro again and it's something that I just wish that they would have kept going in the verses or maybe they would have used it again in the chorus. I don't know. I kind of wanted a little bit more from the guitar work throughout this album. Like I said, it kind of makes up for it. Like it's not a bad thing that the guitars weren't at the very like forefront of this album. But at the same time, I just the other sounds that you're hearing can get kind of old after a while. And I just wanted to hear a really cool riff and I got it and then it was gone. And then I got it in the outro and then it was gone. And I don't know why they didn't use it more. I wish that they would have done just a little bit more with the sounds that they have. They have just talented musicians. They have a lot of different elements and styles that they're incorporating in the music and the vocals are really great. But at the same time, it could all just kind of fall flat and be boring because they're just not doing a whole lot with it. I really enjoyed their last album, Ghost Mile, because it was very daring. It was on the edge. The vocals were very fresh and the vocals stood out a lot more in that album and on this one they kind of become boring and droning in a kind of way it's ugh. i just wish they would have done more with any of the things that they had <laughs> on some of these songs the lyrics are very poetic and beautiful and have good imagery and on other songs it's just overly repetitive and very very lazy and lacking creativity at, from any sense whatsoever. My least favorite song on the album, Bright Star, repeats the lyric Bright Star 16 times throughout the entire song. The song's only like four minutes long. 16 times? Oh my god, that's like once every 20 seconds. Even in my favorite song, Entropy, the lyrics Familiar Voice and Familiar Choice are repeated 22 times. Like, I get that it's a cool hook and it's really catchy, but you couldn't think, you couldn't have done anything else with the lyrics in this? I mean, the rest of the lyrics are amazing and they're very well written. And I get that you want to use Einar Solberg's voice and you want him to have that soaring chorus just going and going and going. But what the hell? 22 times? The music is also, sad to say, but it's very just uninspiring and it's kind of boring. All the songs are repetitive, not even just throughout the song, but all within each other. Every single song sounds like the last song you just heard. Has the same kind of synthy intro, has the same kind of vocals, has the same kind of kind of just bass line riff and the bass stands out more than anything else. The drums are good, but it's almost the same exact thing you heard in the last song. And they just have all these instruments and talented musicians. They have a freaking guitar in a progressive rock band. And they just don't use it. What's the, they don't even use it. What's the point? With all that said, I gotta give Colors in the Sun by Voyagers a 4 out of 10. Some of these songs are fun, and there are fun parts in almost every song, but overall they just kind of fall flat and they're boring. This album is better off as a guilty pleasure if you're looking for that nostalgic feel and you want to hear something new that you haven't really heard before. But even then... I go and listen to their older albums. Ghost Mile is 10 times better than this album. And I don't want to be one of those people that's like, oh, their older stuff is the best. Like, those guys are just stuck listening to like the first four albums of Metallica and think everything else is trash. But in this case, this album, once you listen to it the first time, if you can make it through, it just kind of, it's forgettable. Even on songs like Entropy, which I went back and I listened to a couple of times because I enjoyed it so much, after a while, it just kind of fell flat for me. It got really boring because, like I said, they repeat the same lyric in it 22 times. That's so many times of hearing the same lyric. If it wasn't for Einar Solberger or whatever his name is, it would just be almost an okay song. It probably wouldn't even be all that good, to be honest. The main vocals in the entire album become so drony, they almost put you to sleep because of their monotonous tone. Every single lyric that he sings, it's very soaring and it's very big and he has just this weird tone to his voice that he doesn't change ever and it's just like i said it's very monotonous it's it's very hard to make it through this album all the way through 
But I want to know what you guys think. If you've listened to this album, go ahead and leave a comment below letting me know what you thought. And if you haven't, go ahead and give it a listen. Listen to a couple of songs I mentioned and let me know what you guys think. But if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my upcoming reviews, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you get notified. That way you don't miss out on a future upload. And if you guys want to see me do an album review of like your favorite band or anything, leave a comment below letting me know what you want me to review and I'll make it happen for you. And I hope you guys all have a good rest of your day and I'll see you next time. I was